What's this? A gossip stone? Where are we, huh? Well, we're inside that room where we was in... Well, we were inside the, um... The last room we was in when we were looking for the gold skull pillars, and yeah, we're in this room, the one with the giant tree in it. And you know what we're going to do? We are going to put on our mask of truth and use this for the first time. I want to see what this gossip stone says because I'm kind of curious. The mystical stone responds to you, the mask and speaks to you. But its words are heard in secret. The mask that can see into people's hearts and minds also seems to work on animals as well. Oh, so that's all you had to say, really? Well, I already knew that, but, uh, well, it was all, it was worth checking, I guess. I could have said something, you know, useful that I didn't know about before. But, you know, using Gossip Stones and the Mask of Truth is a very useful thing if you want to, if you're like a first-time player and you want to get more of an idea of the game and what secrets it has and stuff like that, like what different kinds of secrets you can find in Termina Field or wherever. Just use the Gossip Stones and uh, they'll help you. So, in a sense, the Mask of Truth is a very useful mask. But anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I said I was going to go to the Zora Band place, but I've also thought of another thing, and it was the whole reason why I got the Mask of Truth in the first place. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to Clock Town and get ourselves a powder keg so we can gain access to the Romani Ranch. So you know what, I'll meet you guys once I've got the powder keg and all that crap. And I'll meet you outside the, outside the boulder to the entrance of Romani Ranch. So I'll see you all then. Okay, right, so we're back and that guy's still hammering, ar hammering away at that rock. God, you, you, you're not going to get anywhere with that stupid pickaxe, man. So stand back and watch the fireworks, because we are about to set off a powder keg. And to save the time of waiting for this to actually detonate, we're, we're going to detonate it ourselves by shooting an arrow into it to save us some time. And voila, presto. The boulder has disappeared, vanished. You can go home now. You don't need to stand out inside the rain like a, like a lemon. Right, so let's go into Romani Ranch. Oh, what a nostalgic feeling it is to be back here on this rainy day. But anyway, what we want, what the purpose is of being here is that we have to do a mini game here, and it is a fun mini game. I love this mini game so much; it is so awesome, and it requires us to use our mask of truth that we've just picked up from the swamp spider house. And I recommend also that you gather some rupees because you're going to be needing them. I'm telling you that right now; you're going to be needing a lot of rupees. So, if you have the adults, well, I, I wouldn't do this just yet. Go to the Ocean Spider House and get the Giant's Wallet before you go ahead and do this mini game. You cannot do this ga mini game at, during the night. You can only do it during the day. So make sure it's daytime as well. Otherwise, you can't do it. <laughs> the uh, plate, the um, game will be closed. And what does this, what does this look like? And what does this feel like? It feels like. Something I have felt before. A presence that I have felt before. Yes, that's right. It looks like Ocarina of Time. Lon Lon Ranch. It's got like its own little Lon Lon Ranch here. Because remember there used to be like a little structure like this at the back of the ranch. In the exact kind of same area. Because it was at the back of the ranch. But it looks like it's in the exact same area as what it was in Lon Lon Ranch. But obviously this place is a lot, a lot more smaller than Lon Lon Ranch. So yeah, there's also a chest in here as too as well. Yeah, there's a chest on my map, and there's also a gossip stone. Uh, I imagine this gossip stone probably says the same as what it did in um the ocean spider in the um not the ocean spider house, the swamp spider house. Silly, the gossip stone we just read. Right, so what you want to do is I think you have to speak to the lady first before you pick up a dog before you pick up a dog. But yeah. What do you want? And in what do you want? And in this weather, this is Mama Mama Mew, Mama Mew, Yan's doggy racetrack. I don't know how you say that, but whatever. <laughs> other than other than enjoying the dog races, there's nothing for you to do here. Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is ten rupees. Will you try? Yeah. Then first go in and fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Think will run the fastest. Hell, we're definitely going to make sure that it runs the fastest. And by doing that, you have to use the Mask of Truth. 
Now, picking up a dog won't do anything. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't communicate with you whatsoever. Now, here's the difference. If you put on the mask of truth and you pick up a dog, it says something. It talks to you. Ruff, ruff. I feel like I could win, but then I feel like I could lose too. So you have to look for one that says, oh, I feel, I feel confident and I'm going to win this race today. Or something like along the lines of, oh, my, I'm going to do this for my wife or something like that. Don't look for one that's going to say, oh, my stomach's aching, I think I'm going to lose, or something like that. Oh, wine, oh, my belly hurts, oh, I feel terrible. So yeah, don't look for one of those. And usually it's the golden one that always loses. So don't ever pick the golden one. Ruh, ruh, I, can, I can't predict the future, so I don't know how I'll do. Yeah, you'll do crap, I guarantee you. <laughs> it's always the blue dog that seems to win. We're rough. Today I should do pretty well. Well, that one sounds pretty confident. How about this one? Rough. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. Um. Uh, should we take the brown one? See, give it a whirl. See if we'll win. Yeah, you know what? What the hey? This is just for fun. And this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing this whole video. So I don't really care if I lose so many times. If the dog you bought if you if the dog you bought me takes first place, you get a triple your bet. Second place gets double. If the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break and even and get back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. So we're gonna bet fifty here because we'll get double fifty, which is quite a lot of money. Or no, she said triple fifty if we come first, which is definitely not a lot of money. And you need to place about fifty. Rupees, you can place higher if you want to, but yeah, play something like 50 because that's how you get the heart piece for doing this. And our dog's all the way behind. And see, I told you the blue one, I guarantee you the blue one is probably going to end up winning. He's the underdog, he's just gonna. Well, he is the underdog at the minute, he's the last, but uh, it's the other brown dog that's at front. Yeah, why didn't I pick the other brown dog? There's only two brown dogs, and I picked the wrong one. Well, hang on a second. Oh no, he came third, I think. Crap. <laughs> the white dog just run on his own. Oh no, it's the blue dog. The blue dog came last. I thought the golden one would. Because the golden one is usually the one that comes last. But I got my money back, so it doesn't matter. Oh, almost. Well, I'll give you back the amount you put down. Uh, yeah, sure. I want to play again. I want to get my heart piece. Then first go in and fetch the doggy that you think will... Yeah. Right, so, it's basically just one big gamble. Some of the ones that you pick that say, oh, I feel unstoppable, could be the ones that end up losing. It really is just one big gamble. So, but the Mask of Truth does help. Rough, today I should do pretty well. And this is pretty much the big purpose of using the Mask of Truth. There is no other big purpose to it, apart from reading all the Gossip Stones. Rough, today I feel like I can win. Ah... Uh, Right. The only problem is that there are so many dogs to choose from. Like you don't know which dog to. You don't honestly know which dog's gonna win. So you have like a one in a billion chance. Kinda anyway. Right. Let's try and place our bet here instead of from the dog at her. So we'll place fifty again and see how well we do. I'm not saying that we're gonna win, but. There are possibilities, and within every possibility, there could be a win. So let's see if we can win. Because uh, a lot of the time you get shoved out the way by all the other dogs, and that's what kind of slows you down. But we're seeming to do pretty good so far. Uh, well, we're in front. Holy crap. We're in front. Go. 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 Don't let any other dog stop you. Don't any don't let any other dog bring you down. Just barge those dogs out the way and come first. Ugh, oh, damn, he's gonna come fifth, I think. Yeah, fifth. Hmm. Damn it, I was pretty sure that I was gonna win then, but nope. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hang on a second. My computer's going all crazy here. Uh, I'm gonna make a cut, alright, just to make sure that my emulator doesn't freeze. Darn it, what is it with all these applications coming up on my computer? I started this com- I up- 
I've had this computer on since what midday and now it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and all these applications always come up as soon as I start at the desktop and now all of a sudden as soon as I start recording these frigging applications just suddenly want to come piling in rough rough I should do alright <coughs> you should do alright see what the blue one has to say my four paws feel lighter than usual today hmm well the blue one always the one that seems to win and he's got a very confident positive uh, feeling about himself, so let's uh, give this one a shot. I'd be very surprised if he won. Well, if he didn't win, actually. Yeah, if, I'd be very surprised if he didn't win. Because every time I do this mini game, the blue one always seems to win. And yeah, look at that. He's going. But then again, he could slow down, you see. And then all these other dogs will start coming and taking over. Which is exactly what's happening right now. Uh, go on, dude. Nah, he's not going to do it. He's probably going to come real, really far behind. Well, yeah, he's getting pushed down there by all the other dogs. I should get my money back, I hope. <laughs> Yeah. Just keep placing 50 rupees and see if we can keep on winning. I mean, one of these dogs has got to be our golden ticket. Uh, I'm not sure which one's going to be our golden ticket. I feel like I can win. Right, I'm going to try this one again. Because there are a lot of white dogs, and normally, well, yeah, there are a lot of white dogs. So I guess you could break it down to the colors of what dogs there are and see if that could help in the performance because <laughs> the majority of the dogs that are in that pack are white dogs go on go on go on do it for me do it for daddy do it for do it for do it for Hyrule do it for Zelda, do it for Termina, do it for Ganondorf, wait not Ganondorf, Ganondorf's evil, do it for Romani, do it for Kremia, do it for the s do it for the happy Mars salesman, keep going, go, don't let all the other dogs take you over, yes I think I won, I think, I think I won that, ah, oh, if I did, then I get my heart piece, let's see, I'm pretty sure I won. Well, take me for a walk and call me Spot. You took first place. First freaking place. You win triple the amount of your bet. That's 150 rupees. No, no, nice going. You've won over 150 rupees, so I have to give you a bonus prize too. That nut, 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 nice kind of sounded a bit weird when I said that, but oh well. <laughs> we got ourselves that piece of heart, and I look kind of weird wearing the mask of truth there, but... <laughs> Uh, you want to play again? No, we're done here. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the bonus prize, and that's all I was here for. So you know what, guys? I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. Because I kind of want to leave the Zora Band in into like one separate video, because it's going to take time for me to do that. Because there is a lot of going between rooms and finding out different clues and stuff. So, yeah, I'll do that all in one video, which will be the next video. So, until then, take care, everybody. See you all in the next video. Have a nice day, and yeah, goodbye.